Hello, so this is going to be a tutorial on the last speed art video because, I don't know, I thought it would be a good uh, tutorial to do, it's pretty in depth, so why not go into it. So you're going to make something that is 1500 by 500 pixels high, which is your basic starting point, and then you're going to find any image, and it won't really show in the end, so you know, just find any image and just scale it to size. Then after you got your image all set to go, you're going to actually find your image of the character that you're doing, you see I got my character there, and I'm just using the polygonal lasso tool. Uh, you should be familiar with it, it's pretty simple. To just select the background and delete it, this takes a little while. So you know, you'll just watch me do it. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty simple, it's just pretty time consuming, it's not super fun to do, but honestly, this is the most precise way that I can get the background out exactly how I want. So this is just how I do it. You may have your other way of doing it, but I'd recommend this. Once you have your character all cropped out, I moved it to the side. Make sure your character is ticking up from the bottom to the top. You don't want a character going like three quarters of the way up. It just looks really bad. You just kind of want it to be, you know, full and show as much character as possible. Cropping out a little the top and the bottom is actually kind of looks nice. I'd recommend it. So this is what I did right here. Is so I pretty much I made the background black and white. It's pretty simple. Um, I adjusted the hue and contrast right there. So pretty much the hue, I took it, I made it black and white by putting the hue all the way down. And then with brightness and contrast, I added a little contrast and I took away a lot of the brightness and then this is the result. After that, I just added my color correction right there. You can see it looks a little crazy. It'll get a little better. You can see I'm just messing with it right now. It'll get a little better after you blend it. Actually, it'll get a lot better once you blend everything out and add your lighting and your glow and all that. And just your color correction at the end. But then I'm just taking some smoke from a random, uh, random, just a random pack that I have. And I'm just adding it. Then you're going to see... I put an adjustment layer over it, or just like a blank layer over it, and then I kind of just paste some blue spots in over it. And then after that, I just kind of adjust the uh, blending mode of the blue spot that I painted over it. And I think I put it to like vivid light or something like that. It shows which one I did. And then uh, I painted some, just some black to get some variation in there, but this is just a little, kind of nice little effect that you can do that I'd recommend doing. It's pretty neat. Once you're all set with that, I just kind of get a big blue brush, and you can see I'm just painting some weird dots here, and you're going to see I'm going to adjust the blending mode, and then turn the, op uh, the opacity of this layer down a lot. But um, it all depends on what looks good. This one, I don't want the dots to stand out. Yeah, I just kind of want it to be like a little effect like that one for the background. See, I chose divide and then I turned the opacity down a lot. Because, you know, this is just kind of an abstract background. It doesn't have to add much. Just like a little, 
a little bit of light and a little bit of texture in there to make it look good. fun part in my opinion and it's really hit or miss but you just get a big big brush and you choose what color you're gonna do and uh, you know just put in some blue there it looks all right so far but pretty much you paint in some blue and then you paint in some white highlights over it I'll get to that in a second but you can see I'm gonna mess with um, mess with some smoke there put it in or some sparks and just kind of overlay it onto the color and it usually looks really nice you'll see what I do in a sec and then as you can see right there, I just kind of overlaid, you know, kind of like a galaxy. I think I set it to like color dodge. It's pretty simple, you know, you just find a picture of a galaxy, put it right over it, set the blending mode to color dodge. Then I'm putting in some highlights here from the background so it's a bit more blended and a bit more catches the eyes, the eye, you know, it's a bit more popping, you know what I mean? And, you know, I just add some white spots, whatever looks good and there's highlights on the character that I'm also following so not just in random spots you can see um, by the hand there there's a lot of a lot of lighting there and then by the hair it's pretty white on the character so I put a lot of the white background highlight glow type thing there I don't know what to call it but then I put it by by the gun you know you don't want to overdo it or else it'll look really really bad you know you just kind of want it pretty simple and not like pretty gestural you know what I mean yeah, and after I'm done with that, I'm gonna take just some sparks right here, and then I'm gonna put it, kind of overlay it on the glow and erase some parts, and then it'll look really nice. I set the blending mode to screen, so it, you know, it kind of, when you set it to screen, it kind of blends in a bit more. I don't want it to be a different color, you know, just kind of white, I guess white sparks or white shimmer, you know, just, it gives it a really nice, you know, like, I don't know how to explain it. It just looks, it looks really nice. You'll see how it looks in a bit. to what can be the hardest part because you're adding the text in and you have to blend and all that and it's really hard especially when you're a beginner to get that blending going so I'd recommend doing what I'm doing right now is I'm using a Lightroom like a Lightroom pack you have to pay for them but they're really nice you can probably get some free ones but pretty much you plug in whatever text you want you mess with the lighting a bit you mess with the font and the angle and you know what color you want for the text and then you kind of render it and then you're going to see me add it in, in a second i'll show you how to do that
see I put in the text there, I didn't really do much yet. Then you right click and then click photo fil f uh, <laughs> can't speak, photo filter, and then you're just gonna choose like a blue color and then turn the hue all the way up like I did there. And you see it looks pretty nice. And, <laughs> and then I put an image over it right there and then I'm just messing, you know, with the blending mode. I know it looks weird right now. But we're actually going to leave the part of the image only on the caps of the text and not the sort of 3D sides of it. So it'll look pretty crazy right now, but I'm going to figure out what blending mode works best, turn the opacity down, probably get some blending going, and we'll go from there. a little crazy right now what I'm doing but we're doing what we did in the exact same thing at the beginning of the tutorial with the character in the background I'm just taking the you know the sort of the back part and I'm only leaving the image that I overlaid over the text with an adjustment layer I'm only leaving it on the front of the text and you can see I just skipped a part of the video it just kind of blended it in right there it's pretty self-explanatory you know you just crop out all the parts that aren't on the front of the text you know, kind of overlay it, and it looked really, really nice in my opinion. You can see right now, I personally think it looks pretty nice. That's my opinion, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you don't think it looks nice, but a lot of people, a lot of people do. So, and then I'm just adding some stuff in the background to kind of make it more dynamic. Like you're going to see, I'm going to add some stuff. I'm going to mess with the blending layers. And yeah, you can see right there. I'm going to mess with the opacity, turn it down a bit on some, turn it up on some. And then um, I'm going to add some weapons in there, and then I'm going to add some Gaussian Blur on some of the uh, some of the images there, just to make them, you know, a little more dynamic. You'll see what I'll do in a sec. And right here, I'm actually going to get a big brush with a blue color, and I'm just going to paint some splotches over the... Uh, over the text right there and it's gonna look pretty gross right now but I'm gonna mess with the blending mode and I think yeah set it to color dodge and then turn it down a lot and it'll just kind of blend it out and you can mess with the blending mode whatever works best for you but as you can see I did add that slight rocket launcher and I messed with the blending mode so it'll kind of blend in with the background it took in a nice good blue hue I'm gonna add some more stuff some more weapons and I'll show you how to do that in a sec Alright, right here I'm just searching for a file of the weapon I want to use. I did use a scar, you know, because why not? I think it's pretty pretty dynamic and I thought it would blend together really well. As you can see, I put it in, it blended pretty well, and I'm going to look through my blending modes just to see what works best. And I, I think I, um, I end up doing, I think, luminosity, and it blends really well. You'll see in a second. So right there you can see I chose luminosity, then I'm going to make a layer over it, and then I'm going to get a big blue brush, just kind of paint over it. Then I'm going to figure out what layer to use. See, I use vivid light for the blending mode of the blue paint over it. It just kind of gives it a little extra blending, and then I'm going to add another layer over it, kind of in the corner. Then I'm going to paint a little black spot, you know, just to blend it in. Make it a little dark on the bottom, make it a little more 
dynamic, if you know what I mean. Here I'm adding a little electric type thing from you know just a random pack and you could use anything you could use electric bolts you could use fire or whatever but I use a little blue thing you could see I just blended it all there at the bottom just kind of threw it in I'm gonna mess with the grenade I'm going to copy it and go to filter blur motion blur and just kind of add like a little blur I don't know how to explain it like a little blur yeah you can see I'm picking the direction right there so it kind of looks like the grenade is in motion. I'm gonna mess with the blending for a long time until it looks looks okay. I wasn't really happy with it, but the grenade turned out all right at the end. And then uh, we're gonna add some more stuff after that. And we got a little motion in with the grenade and we're gonna actually add a little bit more, you know, how do I explain it? A little bit more, it's gonna make it a little more dynamic. We're gonna add this and we're gonna make it large so it looks like in the, that we're in the, f uh, the foreground then we're gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and then mess with it so it just looks like it's in front of everything with that, uh, with a blur. Like you know, um, in movies how there's like a background or something in front of the camera that's always blurred. It's just kind of that same of effect and I'm gonna do it a small pot and a big pot if you know what those are if you play this game um and then you know that'll just kind of make it look a lot better in my opinion you can see i'm in the big pot there i'm gonna mess with it i'm gonna do the same thing filter blur gaussian blur i'm just gonna figure out what looks best with it and uh you'll see it uh it makes it a lot more dynamic in my opinion i'm gonna add, uh, mess with the angles on all these maybe flip them around a lot and then that'll be pretty much it for for that part there you got most of the subjects all good to go and now it's just time to blend a little bit you can see I just turned up the hue there made a bit more blue just turned up the hue added a yeah and then add a little bit of brightness there and it just looks it looks a lot better it'll stand out it's really easy to get caught in your work and you're used to seeing it so you can darken things a lot and just to like the untrained viewer it'll look really dark and you're so used to seeing it that you'll be like well I can see it but you really want to brighten things up more than you think more bright than you like would normally think as you can see it's a lot more bright than it was and it really does make a big difference but that's our end our kind of end product there uh, I pumped up the hue a little bit so it's a bit more blue a bit less gray you know what I mean then I did some more brightness and contrast and you can see I'm just messing with the face there and it turned out really bad so I just kind of got rid of it at the end but yeah that's about it and if you enjoyed this make sure you check out my other stuff there um I don't know I, I just thought this banner turned out pretty good and uh if you like it drop a like drop a comment on what I should do next and uh follow me on twitter to see more of my stuff there and thanks for watching see you